First alert weather. All right, taking a live look at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam. We got some of the passing thunderstorms around the Snake River Plain. We haven't pulled in a lot of moisture, but we're definitely seeing some gusty winds off of these guys, and we're seeing a few lightning strikes. And we've had a few uh, heavier downpours into central Idaho, like I showed you at the Gilmore Summit webcam at the top of the newscast. And uh, we're getting those uh, downpours, especially again across central and southern Idaho, as these thunderstorms billow out of the Twin Falls area, just east of Boise Mountain Home, and then starting to head up into the mountains. So, yeah, we are getting some active weather here in central. Idaho and that's going to continue heading further north into Montana and we've had a couple of thunderstorms already showing up in the Snake River Plain, especially one just west of Idaho Falls, but this one is trending to go towards Mud Lake and then it's going to further head into Clark and Fremont County, just kind of skirting by Rexburg and St. Anthony and another good thunder cell there right over Monina Pass north of Spencer along I-15. So what we have here is an area of low pressure that is just spinning off the coastline. It's in the Pacific Northwest and riding along the jet stream, we're getting these little disturbances, uh, pop up thunderstorms uh, here and there here for tonight, and we could even see a few of these thunderstorms for tomorrow, but the risk is still very low. And as we go into the Viper cast, I just want to show you, we're still going to get that warm air flow. So things really heating up here for highs expected tomorrow to get into the 80s and 90s for Independence Day. It cools off a little bit for Sunday as that low inch is just a little bit closer, but we're definitely going to see the warm air from the southwest and the occasional thunderstorm in here for tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow. Speaking of tonight on the Vipercast, about 7 to 8 o'clock, got you looking at a few thunderstorms still traversing the Snake River Plain, especially in the Upper Valley heading up towards Montana. About 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to have thunderstorms focused up towards Island Park and not so much for the Snake River Plain. We're not really going to be dealing with a major thunderstorm risk like we had last night. Uh, just a kind of a few thunderstorms making their last little hurrah across Island Park and West Yellowstone later on this evening. As we go into Saturday, beautiful and hot here for your Saturday with temperatures quickly jumping into the 80s and 90s tomorrow early in the afternoon and about two o'clock in that early afternoon we'll start to see a few of those clouds building up like we're seeing outside right now a couple thunderstorms most of the thunderstorms tomorrow will be focused up towards Yellowstone and Salmon but we do have a slight chance of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon as we get closer to fireworks time eight o'clock to ten o'clock actually looking at a fairly decent forecast here and the winds are also going to behave. Now let's talk about the West winds uh, outside tonight. Breezy conditions. We're still going to have some wind tonight as those thunderstorms die off. We'll have light winds tomorrow morning, but tomorrow afternoon around dinner time when you're grilling up the burgers and hot dogs, we'll have some breezy conditions out there. Winds about 15 miles to 20 miles an hour. Now here's the good news as we get closer to fireworks time, though, those winds back off a bit. So the winds are expected to lighten just a little bit as we get closer to sunset and the winds are going to stay lighter in for Sunday. Yellowstone, thunderstorms in the mix here for Saturday and Sunday afternoon with temperatures into the 70s tomorrow. Should be beautiful in Yellowstone, even with that thunderstorm risk. Close to 90 degrees tomorrow for Preston and McCammon. Should hit 90 in Malad City with highs in Jackson at 81, 86 for Rexburg, 85 in Ashton with highs in Salmon at 84, 79 in Ketchum with 85 in Arco with Idaho Falls seeing a high tomorrow at 88. We'll see the same for Blackfoot and 90 in Pocatello. Check out your eight-day forecast. Notice the temperatures are going to fall just a little bit heading into Sunday and Monday. We're expecting to see the temperatures hanging out into the 80s all throughout next week. A few thunderstorms for the middle of next week, but right now I'm only seeing a minor threat for thunderstorms on Wednesday at this point. Pocatello, we got 90 degrees for the high tomorrow. Slight chance of a thunderstorm in the afternoon, and we'll have partly cloudy skies for Sunday and Monday with highs into the mid-80s to get us started for the week with a few thunderstorms on Wednesday. Blackfoot will have a high of 88 and 85 for the weekend. A pretty hot here for Saturday. Again, a slight chance of a thunderstorm for Saturday afternoon. And as we take a look at Rexburg, you'll see a high of 86 on Saturday with 81 on Sunday. A couple thunderstorms middle of next week here, but that's uh, nothing we can't handle. Highs in the 70s and 80s for Rexburg, and that's actually a pretty consistent forecast just all the way through. It's going to feel really uh, just like summer like it's going to be summer outside where <laughs> you don't have to really deal with any major storms on the horizon. Salmon, you'll have a few thunderstorms with you tomorrow afternoon, uh, just like we're seeing outside right now. So central Idaho is probably going to see the worst of the thunderstorm threats with highs around 80 on Sunday and a few thunderstorms for the middle of next week. Sa around to Jackson Island Park, you got a slight chance of a thunderstorm here for Saturday. A few thunderstorms in there for Wednesday with highs around 81 tomorrow in, ta in the town of Jackson for Independence Day. Similar conditions around Driggs, Star Valley and Island Park. Carol. All righty. In consumer news.